Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazur. This week we're going to be finishing up our James Rizzi Cityscapes. We're going to be adding the beautiful art element of color. So, once you have your artwork, you're going to need some crayons and some markers. And you're also going to need some water, either in a bowl or a cup, and a brush. So, first thing we're going to do you're going to go into all of your details and color them in with crayon. So these are things that are small that you want to keep the color solid. Uh, things like lips, eyes, doors, windows. If you had anything in the sky like stars, moons, spaceships, planes, cars, um, any of those smaller things, color them in with crayon. Now we're going to do a fun color blending with markers and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you can take a marker, decide what color you want your building to be. So I'm going to start with this one. I think I want him to be blue. So you're going to take your marker. Now I'm not going to color with the tip of the marker, that little point. I want to color with the side. So I want to turn it so I get a nice thick line and I'm going to outline my building with a nice thick line. Now, if you want your building to be kind of light, you can do it once. If you want your building to be a little bit darker, you can do it twice. So you get a really thick line going all the way around. Then you're gonna take your brush just with water and you're gonna bring it over that marker and it's gonna loosen the ink up and you're going to get a nice kind of watercolor paint effect. And what's nice is you can drag it right over top of that crayon and it's not going to smudge or do anything to it. So take your wet brush, drag it into that marker and then give it a second or two and that water will start to loosen up the ink in the marker and you can blend it out just like that. Now from here, you can leave your buildings just like that. Now, if you want to do some color blending, so I have my color wheel out here over here, you can blend colors that are next to each other on the wheel. So, say I wanna do a reddish orange building. So I'm gonna take my red and my orange. I'd say probably start with the darkest color first. And so I think red's a little bit darker. And I'll do this building. So I'm gonna do again, make my real thick line. So I'm gonna start with, outline my building with the red. Real thick, I think I'm gonna do two layers. So we got real thick on the outside. And then next, I'm going to go in with my second color that I want to blend. And I'm gonna do it right next to it. So I'm gonna do my orange. I'm gonna do a nice thick orange line around there and I'm going to do the same effect. So I'm going to take my wet brush, put it through the red first and into the orange and blend that out. And so now I'm creating a reddish orange building, blending those two colors in together. So you can have fun experimenting with all the different ways that you can blend color out. If you want to do buildings that are all sorts of different colors. You could do them all kind of similar colors. You could do all cool colors or warm colors. Um, the choice is yours, but you're gonna color in your details with crayon, and then you're gonna go in with marker and fill it in. And you can do your buildings, your sky, all of that stuff. You can use the markers and water and blend it out to create a beautiful, colorful cityscape. So that is it for this week. I can't wait to see how your beautiful James Rizzi style cityscapes turn out. And we will see you again next time.